channel a message about the new age of Aquarius. Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Um, I'm back with a, another channeled message. And again, if you are not familiar with what I do, I do channeled writings um, and uh, I do uh, channeled sessions uh, when I'm in a one-on-one -on -one coaching with other people, bringing through information um, to help guide them um, along their journey. Um, I also am channeling and writing a book. There's the I Am series um, that I'm writing. Uh, there's actually a couple already out there on Amazon, um, and then there's more to come. So different books that uh, go together. Now there's the pre-book, the book, and then there's also there's a there's healing uh, aspect books out there as well as well. Okay, um, but this video is on the um, the new age of Aquarius, um, and this kind of this came to me today. I was out, um, I, when I'm out and about, uh, things will come to me. And it's like, I want to try and hurry up and write them down depending on where I am. But um, sometimes I don't, so I go off memory. Um, but I did get to write this down. Um, and it's saying the new age of Aquarius coming in represents truth and love, which is the direction that we're going, right? And which is why it is being brought to the forefront and bringing truth up and why all those who have misused their power and their gifts over eons are being revealed now in the moment and exposed, but you are also source. And so you too are being awakened to see your truth as accept and so to accept your divinity and to awaken to your own power of who you are and to do good, to make the change in the world in a better way. So, yes, so uh, with this uh, new age, there's the um, uh, arising of truth and love, right? And so that is very powerful. And so that is part of everything that's been going on in uh, uprising over a uh, couple I mean, it's always happening, but now it's more intense, you know, with being in Aquarius. Um, I'm not really big on astrology. I don't really do astrology. Um, so uh, this is obviously uh, just to share, this isn't really coming from me about uh, what's going on, you know, as far as that. Um, I kind of get my information from channel writings and uh, so forth, but I don't study astrology per se. Um, so everything, you know, that's kind of going on is a lot more than usual, um, you know, with the rising of everything is for people to see truth. So, cause we're moving forward. Um, and in order for things to shift, you know, they do have to come up and out. We have to be able to see them, to deal with them, to bring them out of the darkness, the shadows, right? And to do that, we, it's called truth, right? And so on our own personal journey, whether, whatever it is we're going through, um, and then on, uh, you know, the macro level uh, at large, you know, universal, um, it, it, it arises. So it comes up within you on a, um, on a micro level and then also the macro. Um, so that's where it's saying, and it's not just for those who are doing, you know, the things that they've been doing, you know, um, but also for us um, to see what we're not seeing, right, about ourselves. And so that's why what this is saying, it's saying it's being revealed and exposed, but you are also source. We're all source, right? It's just different levels of where we are and understanding that and knowing who we are um, and reconnecting to that truth, right? Because we have on an individual personal level, our own truth is which are our beliefs. And that's not really truth. It's a false truth. Um, cause the only truth is source truth. And what is that? That's love. <laughs> right. Um, and so the universe, everything is set up as through truth, right? When we're in our human concepts and we have in the beliefs that we have, that's, that's a false truth, right? Because it's only your truth. It doesn't make it true. Right. So there's only the universal truth and source truth. 
right? And so when we don't live in that way, live by that truth, then it's false, the false truth, right? Appearing real, <laughs> which makes it true, but only to you. That makes sense. Um, and so if for eons to get and misuse their power, right? So when you're not in alignment and doing things for the good of all, you're misusing their power and the gifts uh, over eons, right? So those who have the knowledge and wisdom as um, for however reason or however that came to be, you know, they have all the knowledge um, that we used to all have. And then, you know, it's kind of gone to the point where only those who are more in power have the, the knowledge versus those who are now considered the masses, right? So um, they use their, their power and their gifts and um, don't use it for the good of all, but for themselves. Anyway, so it's saying the truth is being uh, brought up uh, to be seen and shown, you know, to those all who have misused their power and their gifts over eons and have been revealed and exposed. But you are also a source, right? They are, except for they're more in the shadows than we are. <laughs> um, and in the process, we've forgotten who we are. And so those shadows are there as well, right? So uh, rising all up all those shadows on everybody, right, is being exposed. And so, but you are also a source. And so you too are being awakened to see your truth as who you are. So accept your divinity and awaken to your own power of who you are and do good to make the change in the world in a better way. So all truth arises. And so it's not just those who are using power against sovereignty, but for those who have lost their power or forgotten their sovereignty to remember themselves. So you two have come here to be and do what you came here to experience within yourself. So this is all happening to help you find yourself, right? To bring us all back into oneness, right? So truth is not biased and it rises for one, it rises for all. And so you can see the changes taking place, those being revealed and those standing up for their rights as sovereign beings. So. Um, I'm going to say the whole COVID situation was an example of that. You know, people who are wanting to force that on others, right? And then those who are standing up for themselves and their sovereign being um, and rejecting that force, right? Standing up to be your power. Okay. And so, yes, it is true. You are loved, guided, and protected by all those who love you beyond this earthly realm. You are loved as a being in this human form, for you are source, not a separate entity. You are not alone. We are always here with you to help guide and protect you and always in all times. So you will be guided in the right direction when you are in alignment with truth and love. So trust in your life that you are doing good and on the right path to revolution. You'll always have those who don't, which is the experience that you had when you were younger, you could have given up, but you kept going for you knew what you should have been doing. So that part right there is on a personal level. And I'm just going to share that experience for you. When I was little, um, I was, uh, I think it was like summer camp. Um, yeah, it was summer camp or day camp or something like that. And we were doing relay races, right? And so one of them was actually, we had to do like a back crawl all the way to the end. And then um, the next person went and then back and forth, right? And it was the, like a relay race, right? And so when I got up there, it was like everybody else um, kind of didn't do the back crawl. They did uh, whatever it was that got them to where they needed to be faster than everybody else. So some of them ran, some of them walked really fast. Some of them kind of did a different, I don't know, whatever it was, but they didn't do what they were supposed to do. And although I didn't get there in time, I did what I was supposed to do. Right. And so <laughs> that's where that comes in, you know, and it's just, you know, something that I have within myself that, you know, to, 
be truthful to yourself, right? To to honor yourself. And um, because, yeah, I could have ran just like everybody else just to be there and beat everybody else. Or I could have done, you know, the right thing. And that's the difference, right? And so, you know, yeah, they may have gotten there first, but are they really a winner? How did they feel, you know, having not done what they done were supposed to do in the process of that? experience right so there's that those who do what's right and then there's those who don't <laughs> you know and that was just kind of like that's uh what they, what, they, what they were saying there um on that um and so in place of finishing last you chose to be true to yourself which is the best possible outcome so not all who finish last are losers right so basically saying even though i i finished last i'm not a loser Right. <laughs> um, so at last, we say to you that you are love and you are the beings of light, that you are intent to be and you are the leak. Sorry about that. So you, that you are love and you are the beings of light that you are intend to be or you are the leak in the system. Right. So what are you going to be? in life are you going to be the leak or are you going to be the the you know on the right path doing the right thing honoring yourself trusting yourself loving yourself being who you truly are being your faith your sovereign being or are you going to be the leak in the system that takes everything off and going in the wrong direction okay um, and that's just a personal journey you know and it's not right or wrong it's just how are you going to be and how are you going to feel when you when you do the things that you do, you know, it's worse responsible for ourselves, right? And the actions that we take, right? Okay. And then the next part, it is uh, your choice in who you choose to be and show up as you always have the opportunity to do what is right in life or not. Life is a choice and so is your sovereignty, right? So what is sovereignty really? Is it, you know, religion or no, it's being true to yourself, honoring yourself. You know, having that um, that inner like I'm trying to think of the right word for it, um, sovereign. I mean, it can mean a lot of things, and a lot of I, a lot of times people just throw that around. You know, like oh, I'm sovereign being, I'm spiritual. You know, but it's so much more than that. It's about being, you know, honest with yourself, uh, true to yourself, basically, and just having that. Um, that internet's about you, you know, um, uh, be it what you will, for it will be shown to you in your light or your awakening. Um, be it the light unto your awakening, for in the awakening you are shown your suffering. Right. Um, I don't know about you, but my awakening came at my lowest point of suffering in my life, right? And a lot of times that's where it comes. It comes down to the point of your most worst suffering and then you awaken, right? If we're not conscious, uh, you know, in that place. But I was fully in my human concepts. I was in my ego and I was, you know, it was all about, you know, when I get here, I'm going to be this and I'm this and I'm, and I'm, you know, I'm now like this person. I achieved this and I got this goal and blah, blah, blah which there's nothing wrong with that, right? However, if you're not doing it consciously and creating and um, in alignment with who you truly are, you know, it can be in lead to suffering, right? If you're not on the path <laughs> that you're supposed to be on and taking all these detours, you know, which I kind of was because that's how I got where I got. But, you know, the suffering was at the point uh, that left me into my full awakening. So... Um, and then my death experience and then the angel and then, uh, but that's a different video. <laughs> um, so it's not for the sake of punishment or shaming, but to see where you are, what you are doing and to remember who you are and how you are playing out in the world around you for it is that which is being forgotten that is rotting in the dark. And so it is being exposed so you can see the way back to the light of divinity, to come back home to the light, to heal, forgive, and let go. So you can be once again free and untethered by fear, dominion, and obscured by belief systems. The human 
uh, belief systems. I'll say I for I is truth that reveals itself to you, which is happening now and then in certain times and intervals over seasons, for I have found myself in what I am being and doing, thereby which I can change the lights is being shined upon you. I am a light being who am source being, not a burdened human, for I am of him which is source, not myself separate. For I live my life in oneness, not aloneness, for you are never alone. And so this is showing you on how you uh, uh, how to see by the light, by that way, saying to yourself, I am the light being who am source, right? Being not a burden to human, which is our human consciousness, our ego, our identity, for I am of him, which is source not myself separate. So we're not separate, we're all one. Uh, if you were to take everything away, all identity, all names, all color, all everything, when you get down to the bare of it, we're all source, we're all one, right? So if you can get all that out of your minds, you know, you will see that you're all one. You take that away and set that aside, okay? Um, which is source, not myself separate, for I live, my life in oneness, not oneness or aloneness, for you are never alone. So I am revealing myself on earth at this time to be a part of the great awakening, to rise up and to be a part of the light shining in the darkness, which is also your part. Thereby in the light and the darkness, so shine your light brightly so everyone can see who you are. It is for you now to be all that you can be during this time in the rising Aquarius. All light comes from source. So you are source only at different degrees, which is where you are, the level of you are. Like how far in the shadows are you? What depth are you in the shadows? Can you see yourself or can you not see yourself, right? Are you able to see yourself, find yourself, be yourself, right? So looking at these things, how far in the shadows are you? from it, right? Because there's the spectrum and it, it's kind of, um, I talk about this in, in a different video, like there's there's different levels and spectrums. The farther away you go from the light, you go into the shadows, right? Source of love. And the farther away you go from love, which is source, you go into lack of love, which is the shadows, right? So there's the streams of consciousness, consciousness, which is source to unconsciousness, the human, right? Um, so, and it's just that way uh, that everything is, you know, it goes from the light, the love, the consciousness, the intelligence to that which isn't, which is the lack of all. So where are you on the stream of consciousness or of love, right? Or the lights, it's in different degrees. So how bright are you going to shine? We ask thee, right? So we is of uh, those who have given me the message. So we ask thee, wake up and be present in your life. Don't stress to worry for you are love, protected and guided in this timeline, no matter what happens, use loosely. But don't take it for granted. We're not here to save you, but to guide you safely through the days ahead. You will be guided and protected in our coming the coming days ahead. So be gentle with yourself as you move forward. We are here for you to, as you requested, awakening, remembering who you are. Now is the time to rise, to shine in your being true of who you are and what you came here to do. Realize you are the one who is the story of your life you're not just playing a role, right? And so it says here, uh, we are all important. No one is better than the other. And I know we kind of went through that whole where, you know, you know, uh, fighting over who's better, who's more, who's who's worthy, or, you know, um, you know, we kind of went, went through that, like part of the this, this shift there. Um, Honor one another and return to love and awaken.
And that was everything that I got for that download. All right, and so definitely wanted to share that. Um, and looks like we uh, have, have, like they were saying, the guidance, the love, the protection, um, and then just follow your guidance. You know, um, everybody has their own individual guidance and tune into that. Um, uh, 2024, uh, I'm going to say, is going to be an interesting one. All right, happy journeys. Thanks for tuning in.